Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So, what was kind of your first reaction to this injury after having, you know, the whole off season rehabbing the other the other shoulders and everything? What was what was kind of your first reaction? Uh, I mean, first reaction was I'm like my my shoulder out, and then once I got it back in place, I was just really just thinking about past seven months I done spent trying to get back right, and it happened two days before the season starts. So that's all I've been thinking about since that practice. How did how did it happen? We heard it was contact with the teammate. Were you like driving to the, the hoop or trying to pass it or what kind of? No, uh, we was doing uh, we was scout and uh, I tried to run through a screen and the teammate just ran to my shoulder like awkward position and it just came out. Did you know immediately? Yeah. Something okay? It's just because you've had it happen so many times before. As soon as he hit me, it, like felt I felt it drop. You know, I just ran down the other end of the court, laid down, and the trainer came and put it back in. How's that? How's it different than the other injuries? That I mean, Bruce seemed to indicate that it was a little less severe. Yeah, they said it, uh, it slid down and not out. So, because the last injuries, every time it popped out, it came out the front. So this one went down. So uh, that's why I said it's different. And they said it's not as bad as the other one. So I should be back. You know, I don't know the time frame, but it's it's not going to be that long. Was it less painful? Equally painful? Nah, it's about equally painful though. What's gonna have to be done? I mean, it doesn't sound like this is something you have to have surgery, is it? Nah, I don't need surgery. They just said um, I'm gonna see Dr. Andrews tomorrow, and I'm probably gonna start rehab tomorrow. You know, get it strong, get the strength back up, the stamina back up, and then hopefully I'm out on the court. Hopefully a couple of weeks, practicing with the team, and see what game I can come at. Did, far, oh no, go on. Yeah, how did the uh, how did your teammates react? I mean, after having uh, another injury. I mean, they was all sad, but they supportive, and they know that I'm you know I'm not gonna just sit around and be sad and not try to come back. I'm going to come back as fast as possible, come back as strong as possible. So they know I'm going to work and I'm going to get back out there on the court with them. Are, are you kind of, uh, is the rehab going to be like the exact same as the other ones? Because I mean, there's another shoulder dislocation, or is it going to be different because it, it dislocated differently? I'm not sure. I see Dr. Andrews tomorrow. So hopefully when I see him, I have, you know, most of my questions answered and then mm -hmm. I start rehabbing tomorrow morning. So I just see when I uh, get to talk to him. Just how, how frustrating is this for you? I mean, you kind of mentioned, like, you know, <coughs> seven months you spent rehabbing, you were close to being back, and now it's like right before the, the first exhibition game, you have to deal with this again. I mean, it's frustrating, especially knowing that, you know, the team, I know that they was counting on me because um, I was in the, you know, star rotation. So, you know, coach had to switch up things now that I'm not playing. They have to play with one less player, you know. So I was just really mad that I let the team down, you know, let myself down because I let it happen. And I worked so hard to get back, but I'll be back, you know, real soon. And we're going to get back on track. Who do you think is going to be stepping up, you know, in, in, in place of you, especially on the defensive side of the ball? Because you've obviously been one of the one of the leaders there. I mean, everybody. I mean, New, New Williams, Bryce Brown, uh, you know, Don, he's moving up, position to the three. Uh, you know, Kareem, he's going to do his thing. You know, everybody just going to chip in. And, you know, it's a collective, you know, deal. And, we all do what we have to do to help one another when somebody goes down. So we gonna we gonna be all right. How, how does it make you feel when I mean Coach Pearl called you the heart and soul of, of this <coughs> team? I mean that, that that's pretty high praise. I mean I appreciate it because I you know predicate myself on you know being tough because I'm the smallest dude out there so I know I gotta play ten times harder. Do everything is like the best of my ability and you know just play hard on every single possession. So I glad that he said that about me. I'm glad he feels that way about me. Thanks,